And today we're going to make pork and fennel and sausage rolls. So for that, you're going to need some, some puff pastry. You could make your own, but that just you can if you want to. I'm not doing it. You're going to need some sort of oil. I'm going to use clarified butter, but if you don't can't get any of that, just use oil or you know, butter or whatever you want to, whatever you want to use. You're going to need um, some paprika. I'm using smoke, smoked paprika. Salt and pepper, and an egg. You're also gonna need some uh, some onions, garlic, and carrots and fennel. Now I've chopped them up quite, I've diced them up really small. Also with the uh, the stems of the fennel, pay particular close attention to them and cut them up really, really fine there. And also you're gonna need some pork mince. Also, I would usually use some uh, fennel seeds. I would toast them off and then grind them up into a powder in a mortar and pestle, but I can't find my fennel seeds. I don't know where they're done, and it's Sunday in Austria, and the uh, supermarkets are closed. So, yeah. All right. First thing you want to do is uh, you put some uh, caramelized your onions. So you just want to melt some of your uh, whatever you're going to use. I'm using a butter spot, but if you want to use oil, go ahead. Just going to dump those in. Just after you get them in there, you just want to go ahead and put a little bit of salt over the onions. This will help draw the moisture out and uh, help them caramelize up. Alright, once your onions get to this stage here, just going to go ahead and add your, uh, add your garlic. And also you're going to add just a uh, one and a half teaspoons of the uh, smoked paprika. Right, once you've added that, you're just going to mix it in and just let that cook off for a, for about a minute or two minutes there. Then we'll uh, then we'll go on to the next step. All right, after you've cooked that out for just a couple of minutes there, you're going to add your carrots and your fennel. You're going to add a good crack of salt. And you're also going to add some pepper. Now you're going to mix that in and just keep it on a medium heat and you're going to let that uh, get nice and caramelized and it's going to take about 15-20 minutes. Alright, so after it's been about 15-20 uh, minutes, now it's starting to look like that. I've already tasted it for seasoning and I just had to add a little bit more salt. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of water just to get anything that's sticking off the bottom and the sides. And once the water's evaporated, it's, uh, it's ready. Alright, once it looks like this, you're just going to remove it from the heat and let it cool down completely before we uh, add it to the mince. All right, after your uh, mix is cold, cooled, I should say, you're going to add your mince to a bowl. And you're going to add all your uh, carrots and your fennel and all that good stuff. And then also, you're just going to add a couple of handfuls of... Uh, of breadcrumbs. If you can get your hands on the big ones, that's the uh, that's the better one to use. You're just gonna add, yeah, okay, that much, and then just get in there with your hand and, uh, and mix it all together. So the puff pastry I'm using is uh, it's quite big. Like usually I get them this big. So I've already marked out. I'm going to cut this one into fours, and the easiest way I found to do that is to Use a pizza cutter. So, I'm just gonna chop them in. All right, now I'm gonna separate these and I'm gonna put the ones I'm not using, I'm gonna keep in the fridge. And then the ones I'm gonna use, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll keep out, obviously. Also, we're gonna get a, we're gonna, once we get the meat on there and roll it up, we're gonna use an egg wash just to rubber across the top to seal it and also over the top so it gives it a nice little shine. Now with the in the bowl here I've just got like a, a little bit of water in the bottom that where I'm gonna put the egg and that just helps the you really don't want the shell in there with it. But the water will help it uh you know mix up a lot better so you don't have any like yeah it just helps it mix up so it's a lot more uh a lot more fluid. Okay 
Once you've beaten your egg up, see there's no long stringy bits in the egg. That's how you want it. Now, after I finish the, the mix, I let it sit just for about 10 or 15 minutes, just to let everything, you know, get to know each other. And then for my size uh, pastry, I've got about 150 grams of the meat mixture. And you just wanna get it evenly spread out across the pastry there. I'm gonna go right to the edges. If you need a little bit more, just go ahead and put some in there. All right, uh, I'm just gonna wash my hands real quick before I roll it up. All right, when you're uh, ready to roll it up, you just put some egg wash across the, across the one side there. And then just fold it over. And then make sure you get a nice seal on it. I like to just push the seam down a little bit, make sure it's all. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but yeah. Just like to push it down a little bit. And then once you got it like that, I'm just gonna let it sit in the fridge while I, while I, do the, while I roll up the other ones. Uh, once you've got them all rolled up, you just wanna put them all out on a, you know, I've got it on a rack with some baking paper on top and then a tray under it. You just wanna give them all a brush down with egg. Like so. And then once you've brushed them down, you're gonna put some, uh, I got some black sesame seeds here. I'm gonna give them a little sprinkling with that. And also a little bit of flaky salt. Just a little bit over the top there. All right, once you've got them all egged, sesame seeded and salted, you gotta put it into a preheated oven. That's been set to 200 degrees. And they're gonna cook for, it's gonna take about uh, 30 minutes or so to cook. But just keep an eye on them. Maybe yours oven cooks a little quicker, but yeah, this oven might know it's going to take about 30 minutes. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes since we put them in. Just going to take them out. Uh, it's stuck on the side there. Anyway, I'm just going to put them on a rack to uh, cool. Now, as you can see, it's um, it's leaked quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn all these upside down and I'm just going to put them back in the oven for another five minutes or so and that should, uh, that should crisp them in the bottom up as well. Alright, so after I took them out the oven, I just let them sit on the parchment paper for about five minutes so I could actually you know, handle them. And then I've just turned them all upside down and i put them on another tray and I'm just going to stick them back into the oven. Now it won't take that long, it should only take you know, about five minutes or so and then the bottom will uh, crisp it up. All right, after about five minutes of them being upside down, you're gonna take them out. And you just wanna let them sit for about, you know, 10 minutes before you bite into them, because they are uh, about the same temperature as lava. So, after you let the sausage rolls uh, rest for at least 10 minutes, because uh, they're quite hot and still quite warm, it's time for the taste test. Oh. It tastes really, really good, but without the fennel seeds, it's missing that fennel part of the pork and fennel sausage roll, but it's still really, really good. 